Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm coming on here to share with you the newest release from By the Well for God, and this one's exciting because it was over on their new website. So By the Well for God is transitioning over to their own site away from Etsy. You can find them at bythewellforgod.com. I will have that linked down below for you guys. Uh, it just means that it frees them up from, you know, some of the restrictions that Etsy has as far as inventory and fees and things like that, and I think it's going to be better for you guys, and they can carry some different things over there, which is exciting. So I did check and it looks like the kit for this month is still available, still in stock. So I will have that link down below as well as all of the add-on goodies, which of course will go through everything, you know, my By the Will for God kit videos are a little bit long just because they release so much when they do their releases. But uh, here's a look at the newest devotional kit, 25 Gifts of Love. It is um, Christmas themed as far as the graphics and things go, but the devotional content really could be gone through at any time. So I'm going to walk you through the devotional kit and then we'll go through all of the add-on goodies. Um, this one is super fun. I know that there are lots of different options for advent kits out there and um, a you are starting to sell out. So it's great that this one's still out there. So if you have not grabbed something for Advent yet, or to work through in December, this would be a great one to do. So this month is structured just a little bit differently. It is still in the traveler's notebook, um, you know, format, but rather than being a 14 day devotional, it's a 25 day devotional. So if you wanted to work through, you know, one um, page each day through Advent or, you know, from the 1st to the 25th of December, you could do that with this or work at it, it at your own pace. Like I said, the content inside is not Christmas themed. It's just structured to allow you to have something to work through in December, which is really nice. So if you maybe have already picked up something for Advent, you can still grab this and then work on this um, after Advent for sure. So we're talking about 25 gifts of love. So 25 different gifts from God because he loves us. So things like being created in his image, um, giving us the gift of prayer, um, being anointed by God. So being chosen to do his work, which is amazing. Um, his steadfast love. We are held secure, eternal life. So that just kind of gives you an idea of some of the topics. So rather than focusing on ourselves and, you know, get anything that's self-focused for Christmas, you know, Christmas is all about the gift giving and all that kind of thing. This puts us back on focusing on the gifts that God has given us because he loves us. And I love that. Now, of course, you know, it's by the well for God devotional. So it is very heavy in scripture. There's plenty of scripture references in here. Um, they are all throughout the Bible. So it's not like we're just camping out in one book. I know a lot of Christmas themed ones kind of camp out in like the gospels or, you know, specifically Luke. Um, but this is going to take you all throughout the Bible. So um, it makes it nice if you maybe are getting a journaling Bible that's getting a little full, uh, you should be able to still create. I'm actually going to be creating in something different. I'll talk about that here in a second. Um, just because I, you know, if I'm going to do all 25 days, I don't always journal all 25 days, but to have a whole bunch of Christmas themed, I like to kind of break it up and have that in a separate project. So I will be doing mine um, in a separate notebook. But um, so you get a little bit of devotional information and then of course, lots of scripture and then um, there isn't necessarily like a prompt or question for each one, um, but there is like a little thought provoking, you know, piece. So that can kind of, kind of help guide you in your journaling um, as you work through the kit. So 25 gifts of love. I love the... Uh, prayer that they have here at the beginning. It says, Oh, gracious Father, we come to you as your church in prayer. In a world where we often are struck with a flood of wants, we come to you in thanks for seeing to our needs. For you sustain us from day to day and year to year with your steadfast, faithful love. Thank you, Lord, for the many gifts you have lavished on us. You humble us with your love in your honest, holy name, or in your most holy name. Amen. Um, and so I just love that that's kind of, you know, setting the tone for this devotional content, which is great. And you can see here's just, I flipped over to this page. And this is a whole paragraph of scripture to work through. So lots and lots of study that you can be doing through this um, might be a good gift giving idea. Um, maybe for somebody who is new to reading the Bible, you know, new to diving into that, this would be a great one um, to kind of give them a guided study. So again, it's going to be 25 days rather than 14 days like their other devotionals. And then of course, it's super, super cute. It's really fun, um, kind of non-traditional uh, Christmas colors, which I know is pretty popular and on trend right now. We're really big into like the pinks and mints 
and reds for um, Christmas. So let's kind of take a look at some of the products that they have in the kit. Everything comes in the drawstring bag so you can you know keep everything together. Here's a look at the four by six clear stamp set, Gifts of Love. You have this really fun garland of lights. Um, this would be great if you're going to be making your own Christmas cards. There's lots of things in here that you can use for that. Uh, tons of cute little animals. I am always kind of have a soft spot for cute animals in my Bible. So there's a couple of those. You have this set here with the stack of gifts. You have this fun little tree. Um, I'll be pulling out. There's some additional stamp sets in this release that would coordinate very well with this set as well. You have 25 and then gifts of love. So you could create a little title on each one of your entries. Um, and then you have a little heart texture. Super, super fun. I have seen if you are looking for inspiration for, you know, Bible journaling art, uh, card makers are a great resource. And there are a lot of these kind of solid tree stamps on the market right now in the card making world. And so they have some really fun um, ideas for kind of clustering these and stamping them in different colors. And so if you're ever, you know, lacking inspiration or want to try something new or just, you know, get a new idea, try watching some card makers on YouTube because they um, can take a stamp similar to this and kind of give you some ideas for ways to use them. So there is the stamp set. Next up, we have the clear stickers. These are super cute. So you've got some animals. I love the little um, porcupine little guy there or hedgehog. You got a deer. You got this little row of houses. These are clear stickers, so they're going to melt right into your page. So they look like the artwork's printed on your page, and it took no effort at all, which is nice. These pieces up here are not cut into stickers, but I like to fussy cut these out and use these too. And one thing you'll notice with By the Will for God is they always take their little truck, which is kind of their brand image, and they fill it with different things for each kit. So this month it has some little um, cookies or ornaments packed into the back of the truck, which is super cute. You've got your set of washi strips. Um, you've got this bigger set of row houses. And then look at how fun the plaid is, this really adorable garland piece. Um, these are, again, clear sticker paper, so they don't tear like washi tape, but I just kind of wiggle my scissors as I cut them, and it kind of gives you that torn edge. But I like that you get a variety of patterns rather than one roll of a set, you know, pattern of tape. And then there's this one. This is super cute. So it's all these, like, little postage stamps um, with different verses in there. So 1 Peter 2.9, Acts 2.38, um, just really adorable little postage stamps there. Now, when you order the um, kit, you will also get an email with the digital images so that you can reprint them um, and scale them to different sizes if you want, um, print them on different materials. So I imagine there's going to be a lots of these stamps kind of resized and played around with. I think those are super, super fun. Um, and then they will also have a set of digital papers and more like ephemera type pieces that you can purchase in addition to the kit. So there's a couple different digital options for you. Um, the devotional content it is not in digital format. Um, they just will be sending you an email with the graphics from the kit. Next up, we have the journaling cards. So you get three journaling cards um, with different titles from a few of the different um, topics in there. You've got His Bride, Anointed by God, and Patiently Waiting. And of course, I just love the cute graphics that they're doing this month, this little mug of gifts of love. And then on the back here, you've got some journaling lines. And these are also, they're not just like plain white on the back. They also add graphics to the back side. So if you wanted to do a tip in, so if you just add a piece of washi tape to the top there on your page, and then you can flip it up and have some hidden journaling in there. Um, but you could also, you know, fussy cut out the different images or, you know, use them however is, you know, works for you. Um, but you could also make like a little mini book or something like that. These are just, you know, lots of different ways that you can use the journaling cards, um, which is really fun. So there are three of those. You also get a set of alpha stickers. So these are printed on white sticker paper and it has this like tree. They're, they look like a whole bunch of the trees that are scaled down to create a pattern um, in the background here. You get several of each letter, um, a few extra of the vowels. There's also some ampersands and some punctuation and things like that. There is also the outliner stamp set. If that's still in stock, I'll be sure to have that link down below. That coordinates with their alpha stickers. Their alpha stickers are always the same font. And so that outliner stamp is actually meant to perfectly outline your letters. So if you're somebody who likes to go in with pen and outline them, the stamp set makes it so it's super, super easy to just ink it up and stamp the outline around it in whatever color that you want. So I'll be sure to have that linked down below. It coordinates really well with their stickers. 
They also have two little flare buttons uh, held secure with some little trees and then God sustains. Uh, I bet you could even turn these into some little ornaments for like a little tree would be really cute. But I know people put them on the front of their Bible covers, um, on their bags, on the top of their fabric tabs. Uh, so lots of different ways to use the flare buttons. They're a little bit chunky, so I don't know that I would actually use them as an embellishment on a page. But I have used um, pins like this as embellishments on the front of um, memory decks cards. And I I think memory decks cards would be a great way to work through this kit, especially if you're working in a fuller journaling Bible and don't have as many blank pages. Maybe do a set of memory decks cards or memory deck system um, and do all 25. And it kind of frees you up to play with some different products and different mediums and different techniques and just you know a different way to journal through the kit. So these would be a fun um, embellishment to a card. They have your verse card. So this has one of the key verses from the kit, which is Romans 8, 28. This is my favorite verse. I actually have this um, on a painted sign in my uh, living room. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. So maybe you just want to um, have that as a goal to memorize a verse this month and memorize this verse um, carried around in your wallet, in your car, on your mirror, in your bathroom, um, or use it as an embellishment piece um, in your journaling, but it does come with two fabric clippies. Now I'm not adding tabs to the Bible I'm currently working in. So I like to tear these apart and actually use the fabric as um, texture on my pages, um, but you could retie these. They're just, you know, don't be afraid to deconstruct things and make it work for your style, but you could also just um, add these to the top of your page to indicate, you know, a couple of the pages from the kit. You've got your kit sticker. Now, this isn't a vinyl sticker. I know some kits do include vinyl kit stickers. This is just a regular white um, sticker paper, but you can keep track on the front of your Bible or in the inside front cover of the different devotionals that you've worked through in that Bible. If you're like me and have been journaling for like five years now, I've gone through a few Bibles. And so if I'm looking for something specific, it's, it would be a nice reference to know which um kits you've worked through in that Bible just by sticking the sticker in the front, or you can use this um, in a journaling page. You can stick it on the front of a notebook, which is what I typically do. They sell um, little travel empty traveler's notebooks. Um, and so these are great because they don't always have space at the bottom of the days to do your journaling inside this notebook. You could add tip-ins and things, but um, these are great for having alongside it. So if you're going to be, you know, doing some study, if you're going to be doing some prayer journaling and need more space than a Bible journaling page, these are a great add-on to have in addition to the kit. And so I like to add the kit sticker to the front of one of these um, just to indicate that this journal goes with that kit. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing since I guess this is a good time to talk about it. I will be working through this kit in a traveler's notebook insert. So rather than creating entries in my Bible, I'll be creating in here. Um, these pages are the same uh, paper that they print their traveler's notebooks on. So it's a nice thick paper. Uh, you can paint a little bit in here. I wouldn't get these sopping wet, um, but you can gesso and page prep in here just the same as you would in your Bible. And so if you want to get messy with, you know, different paints and things, you can do that in here and just gives you a little bit more space to create in. So this is one of the sets of blank traveler's notebooks that you can get as an add-on. And then they had so many prints to choose from that they did a second set as well. So some of the ladies on the team does have that second set. So you can see the different patterns, but I was in love with this plaid pattern and I just thought the ornaments were super cute. So this is the one that I went with. Um, and so those do come in a two pack as an add on. Okay, inside the kit, there's also this um, watercolor swatch card. I went ahead and drew out some of the paints so that you could see the colors that are included. You're getting seven different um, samples of Daniel Smith watercolors. These are nice, high quality, artist grade watercolors. Uh, I have a tip Tuesday all about these cards if you have questions about how to store them, how to use them. Um, and so I will link that down below. Very, very simple. You just take a damp paintbrush, activates the paint, and then you're good to go. And there's actually quite a bit of paint here, even though it looks like just a little dollop of paint. Um, it's very pigmented, very good quality. And so you get quite a bit of use out of these. And then I hold on to these and keep them all stored together. And so I can flip through that and it's paint that you can use. So it's like an on the go little paint palette. And so it does also have the steps on the back if you don't have time to watch that um, tutorial of mine and um, that kind of explains how to use the paint. So you get seven colors that coordinate with the kit. 
And then last but not least, you have your die cut pieces. I store mine in these plastic storages. I always get questions about these. These are actually from Target in the bathroom storage. I will link them down below. Um, they're really nice and convenient because they nestle and stack on top of each other. So you can have them all kind of organized that way. Um, they're just kind of the perfect size for these little die cut packages. So here's a look at the die cut pieces. You've got some larger pieces like these cute little row houses. You've got um, a couple different mug. So lots of fun Christmas themed images. Uh, again, would be great if you're doing your own Christmas cards this year. Maybe you want to save the devotional content for after Christmas. So that's when you have time to work through it. Um, but you can use these embellishments to do Christmas cards, um, do gift tags, lots of different ways that you can use these if you aren't using them all in your Bible. So you've got some gifts, you've got some cute little ornaments like on the front of those TNs. Uh, of course, the adorable little animals, super fun for your kiddos to play with. Um, I don't know about you. Sometimes my kids come raid my stuff. Not so much now that they're old, older, but when they were younger, they came and would play with all of my leftover die cuts and things. There's a couple of those trees. So you could pair that with the stamp set and create like a little forest scene. You've got Christmas joy on a little sled. And then I love this little candle jar with the floral elements inside is super cute. So there's a look at the die cuts and everything else that comes in the 25 Gifts of Love devotional kit. Uh, again, that's over on their new website. So I'll have that linked down below. You can still order the kit. It does appear to still be in stock. Now let's talk about some of the other additional add-on goodies that are in the shop um, with this release. Okay, so we already talked about the Traveler's Notebook inserts. Like I said, there are two sets. They come in a two pack and they're just blank inserts. This one here has the ornaments with this fun snowflake design on the inside and then this really beautiful plaid pattern with blue snowflake or mint colored snowflakes on the inside and they are just blank. So again, these are great to work in alongside your devotional content. And then let's see, we've got lots of things. I do want to mention the freebies. Usually I do that first, but we just jumped right into the kit this time. So um, there was a little bit of a hiccup with their new website. That just happens sometimes. So the day that the new website went live and the pre-order started, typically they do the first 150 people that order get a special gift. Well, there was a little bit of chaos and it was hard for everybody to order. So instead of doing that, they did anybody that ordered on that first day, which was uh, Tuesday the 17th. Anybody that placed an order over $37 that day is going to get this roll of washi tape. So I wanted to mention this because I know not, you know, it's past that time, but this just goes to show you the level of customer service that By the Well for God has. They take care of their customers, and that is why I work with them and show them to you guys and promote them because they're just, they're good people. They don't just have cute stuff and good devotionals. They take care of their customers. And that means a lot to me. And that's why I like to share them with you. So anybody that placed an order that day over $37 will get this fun roll of washi tape. Uh, and so hopefully we'll be seeing some more washi tape from them in the future um, on the site. They brought in an, an illustrator to help them. And so we will be seeing some new illustrations and it kind of frees them up um, time-wise to do other products. So let's hope that we can see some more washi tape in the future. And then anytime that you place an order from them, you get all kinds of free goodies. So anybody that placed an order over $37 We'll get this package of goodies as well, which includes a mini stamp set. If your order was under $37, then you get this part here without the mini stamp set. Now, it may not be this particular image. As they run out of this image, they swap in a different mini stamp set, but just know that you will get a little mini um, two by three stamp if you placed an order over $37. And then you also get a couple of extra bow clips. I love the little snowman head on there. That is super cute. So this one has Psalm uh, 7326, my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. You've got some additional die cut pieces. So you've got um, just some images that are not in the kit or, you know, die cuts that are in the kit. These are kind of separate from that. So these like gingerbread cookies, you've got some little trees, some holly berries. So they do coordinate with the kit, but it's just some additional little add-ons. 
you get a set of label stickers. They started carrying these last month. These are new to the shop. These are really fun. I did get a chance to use a few of these. I know you guys are going to be asking about last month's kit. I'm still finishing it up. I will have a wrap up video for you guys. I'm almost done. Um, but these are fun because they're just on white sticker paper and it's not coated. So you can stamp on these um, or do your journaling. And they're just some fun little pops of color to kind of give you some definition to your journaling or maybe your titles. And then you're going to get a set of red tile alpha stickers. Um, and so that's all in the freebie goodie bag. You get your thank you card for this kit that has the hashtag that we'll be using, hashtag 25 gifts of love, um, and then where you can find by the will for God on social media. And then you get a little sneak peek into the kit that we'll be releasing later on in December. And so that's a nice little peek into what we will be doing um, next month. So there is everything that comes in that freebie bag. And so let's take a look at the additional add-ons. So they have a set of uh, God sent labels. So you can get a whole set of label stickers that coordinate with the kit. So you've got, let's see, five sheets, five sheets, five different colors, and they're all just a little bit different, different sizes, different shapes. Some have some graphics, some are more plain. So you can use these ones to go along with the kit. And then if you have leftovers, they should coordinate with other things because they're not all, you know, have graphics that go along with this kit. So that God sent labels come with five sheets of sticker labels. Next, we have the eternal postcard journaling cards. These are super cute. So these are like little journaling postcards. How adorable is that? Um, and then just blank on the back side. You get three of each color, and I do believe there are four different colors. Yes, yeah, so you have green, blue, yellow, and pink, and just some fun little journaling spots. So again, if you are just going to be working in Traveler's Notebooks, you could use these as tip-ins in that Traveler's Notebook um, to take your notes, do your prayer journaling, and that kind of thing right on these little postcards. And they're not like super, super thick cardstock, so they're not going to add a lot of bulk to your Bible or to your Traveler's Notebook if you're working one of those. So there are the eternal postcard journaling cards. Next is the stencil, and I think this is one that you guys are going to go nuts for. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it super well on camera. I'm going to try to create some shadows there. So you've got this peace on earth part on the top. You have this really adorable uh, snowflake shape. It's, it's a heart with snowflakes on the inside, and then you have some little stars. So you can use it in its entirety, or you can just kind of mask off and use bits and pieces of it to add stenciling detail to your projects. This heart is so pretty. I think this would be fun to do with texture paste um, and then maybe do this on a piece of cardstock to layer over the top of it and then make some Christmas cards. Super, super easy. So there is the lovely Snowflakes stencil. And I like the stencil material that By the Will for God uses. Um, it's thick enough that it's going to hold up. You don't have to worry about, you know, some of the finer detail pieces. Um, but it's also thin enough that it's bendable. And so if you're doing stencils in a Bible, I've talked about this before. Uh, I like one that I can kind of mold to the shape of the page because if you're working in a Bible, you know, there's a little bit of a curvature to the page. So if the stencil is too stiff, it's near impossible to get a good impression. So being a little bit more flexible, you can kind of mold it to the page and really get a good impression. I do have a tip Tuesday all about stencils, sharing different tips and tricks for using different materials uh, or mediums uh, through your stencil and how to get good results. So I'll be sure to link that down below for you guys. Next, they have their two different alpha um, alpha sets. You've got a set of tile alphas. This comes with five different colors of tile alphas. These have a little bit of a dot pattern on them. So coordinating with the colors of the kit. I like to store mine in color like rainbow order afterwards. And so I can just grab these, pull them out and use them for other projects. They come with several of each letter as well as a full set of numbers and some punctuation in the tile alphas. So you get five sheets of those. And then there's the clear alpha stickers. You get seven sheets of these. Um, these are the same font as the alpha that's in the kit, but these are on clear sticker paper. So they just blend right into your page. Also, the nice thing about this is that you can see the text through the lighter colors. So you can use these over the top of the text and not have to worry about obscuring the Bible text. I know some people that uh, irritates you when you do that. So the sticker paper is nice for that. And again, there is that outliner stamp set that pairs well with these. Uh, so you got this one here in kind of a coral color with a fun little pattern in the background a blush pink, 
this little candy striped one, this darker kind of teal color with that same kind of speckly print in the back, mint, it's kind of a yellowy green, and then that gingerbread color. Super cute. So you get seven sheets of those in the clear alpha stickers. Uh, next, we have the paper pack, and I've already kind of opened this up so that you can see all the patterns, but you get, uh, it's a set of six by six papers. There's 24 double-sided papers, and you get three of each design. So I've kind of separated these out so that you can say, um, you can see here, A side, B side, um, and this is nice quality paper. It does have a little bit of a coating to it. So if you're stamping on it, you can stamp with the versifying ink. This is a pigment ink, but just make sure that you heat set this because it will smear because it's it's got a nice coating that makes it a nice quality paper. Um, ideally, I would probably use an archival ink if I'm stamping on here just to make sure um, that I don't accidentally smear it or something like that. So um, if you've ever bought papers from some of the big box craft stores you know the ones i'm talking about that go on sale every other week and um, seem like a good deal but end up being horrible paper that's not these <laughs> so this is really nice great if you're going to be doing like mini albums or um creating tags things like that you don't necessarily need to double up these paper because they have a you know some weight to them and um, so you're not having to waste paper by doubling it up which is really nice so this one here has the little stamps on it so you can use it it in its entirety like this or you could go ahead and fussy cut out those stamps and use them as embellishments um, and then the b side is this really pretty um snowflake and you do get three sets three pages of each pattern you've got this one here with all the little cookies and holly berries with that grid pattern in the back and then the b side is that kind of lime green uh, diamond pattern um, I want to keep these kind of in order here, so I'm going to flip these over. And um, this one here with the mugs, I love the little camp style mug. You know us, we love to camp, so anything that kind of reminds me of that, I, I love that. So you've got the little hot chocolate mugs, and then this fun kind of red and white snow pattern on the B side. Got a set of gifts and then little pine boughs. So you've got some fun ones that you could fussy cut out or bigger patterns, but then there's also some smaller patterns that are great for layering. If you're a scrapbooker, you're doing December daily. Um, these would be great to kind of have, you know, rather than having a whole bunch of different projects going in, crisp, you know, in December with different product lines, you really could use this for your December daily and your Bible journaling all at the same time um, and just kind of work with them together that way. You have this, again, that really pretty plaid pattern. And then the back side is this tone-on-tone -tone snowflake pattern. I just love that paper. You've got the trees and then a coral diamond pattern. Got some little holly patterns and then the polka dot kind of snow on the red. Really pretty. Love that vibrant red color. You've got little houses and trees, and then this fun striped pattern. Again, great ones for layering behind photos if you're doing December Daily. I think this would be a super cute collection for December Daily. And then that just repeats. So there is a look at the different patterns in the six by six pattern papers. If you don't like the six by six or don't like these patterns, again, they will have the digital set of papers. So they're slightly different patterns um, that are digital. So you can print them on whatever medium that you want. They're eight and a half by 11. So you could do them on sticker paper. You could scale them around and play with them. So if you would rather play with digitals, they do have that digital paper option for you to purchase as well. I always forget get to print those out ahead of time for my unboxings, but those should already be over in the shop. Okay, let's talk stamp sets because they have a ton of stamps for this release. Um, so we've got some smaller stamps. We've got the eternal postcards. So that set of journaling postcards, they have a stamp set that goes along with it. So you can create your own. Great to pair with the pattern papers. Um, and it does even have some like texture elements to it. So it even creates the texture for you when you stamp with it. And don't think you only have to stamp in black. You can stamp tone on tone. So maybe you're going to be using one of those, um, let me see, like this, there was that tone on tone kind of pink paper in here. Anyways, you could stamp on there in like this one right here, stamp with a darker pink color. And that would, I think that would be really, really pretty. So that would be a fun one to pair with the papers. 
And then they have these little mini two by threes. I'm not sure if these are for sale in the shop. Um, I'll link the stamp section. These might also just be the alternatives that they're swapping in for the freebie gift, um, but they're available in the shop. Those will be linked down below, but there's these cute little um, foxes with the mistletoe. I love that. And then this let it snow uh, sled, super cute. This one is slightly larger. This looks like it's probably three by four. Yeah, three by four. And it's this really cute little um, snow globe with the bunny and mouse looking up at the stars. Uh, that is so adorable. You could do some fun like piecing together. You could stamp this on transparency and then layer it with some paper and then go in and fussy cut out your animals on paper and kind of piece together and make it look like a snow globe. I just think that is a super, super cute little stamp set. Again, great for um, cards or for gift tags. Um, this is a really fun one that should be in the shop as well. Okay, these kind of go together. So there is a new six by eight uh, stamp set that's an alpha. I love when they do the large alpha. So again, this is six by eight as opposed to the four by six. Um, and so you've got the Mary alpha and there are um, duplicates of letters where you would uppercase. So for the most part, it's all lowercase uh, font, but you've got an uppercase C, G, F, H, L. So Lord, Jesus, Father, Christ, Him, um, S for Savior, M for Messiah. So you've got the uppercase for the ones that you would want to uppercase, which I love they do that um, because regular stamp companies aren't thinking about that when they release their alpha stamps. So I love that By the Welfare God does that. And then you also have some punctuation down here as well. And it's just got this fun like detail um, in the font. Great to mix and match with their other six by eight alphas or even just their four by six alphas. Mix and match and create different kind of bouncy titles and things like that. But they also have a Mary's number that coordinates with the alpha set. So it's a set of numbers. Um, and then you've got this little banner piece. So you could create um, a little banner, a little date spot. Um, you've got some check marks on there, check boxes. So if you are somebody who uses a planner or a bullet journal, this would be great for that as well. And it's just a really nice sized um, number, bigger than what you see typically in a four by six um, stamp set that includes numbers. So like the big bold numbers. So there's the Mary Alpha and numbers. And then you've got this prayer pocket. This is so cute. So it's this little um, pocket. And then you've got some tags. You've got prayers. So you can keep a list of different prayers or people that you're praying for. Um, and then answered. So the date maybe that it was answered or check mark if it's been answered. And then you've got this tag, which is a great little note taking tag. These would be great even if you have just a non journaling Bible, just a standard Bible, and maybe a little spot to take notes. Um, so you've got a reference. So the verse takeaway. So taking your notes right there and then a date. Those are so adorable, but you could stamp this pocket and cut it out and just add adhesive to you know all the sides except for the top. And then you have a little pocket that you can stick your tags into. I think that is so cute. And then you can pair it with some of the other, um, I bet will that fit in there. Now it doesn't look like the eternal postcard one will fit in there, but they did have a tag stamp set last month. And I think the tag would um, fit in there as well. Or you can create tags out of the pattern papers and stick them in there. Just so cute with the little stitching detail and little button. And you could really dress this up and embellish, embellish it. You could use your own buttons and add a button over the top of there to kind of make it 3D. Uh, even the little prayers spot on there is super cute. I old, old, old video several years ago showed how I made a little pocket on the front of my Bible to stick prayers into. So you could make a bunch of these ahead of time blank. And then, you know, I don't know how many times you go to church and somebody, you know, asks for a prayer request. You can just open up your Bible, write that down. It's in the pocket, in your Bible, ready to go. So um, that would be a fun project to do on the inside of your Bible. This is the one that coordinates well with the stamp set from the kit. So this is Joy to the World. It has all these fun solid trees. You can see similar to the solid tree that's in here. Um, so it'd be a great one to kind of mix and match with this one as well as the gifts um, at the bottom there. So you've got the trees and then you've got some different pots and stems to go underneath the trees so you can kind of change them up. 
The gift packages are separate from the bows. So again, you can kind of mix and match and make them look different. So even though there's only three here, you can even turn this one on its side and add the bow. And so then you would have a tall, narrow gift as opposed to kind of a short, squatty gift. And then you could create little piles of gifts. Um, you've got a few different stars in there, some ornaments. The topper is separate, which is really nice. So if you wanted to stamp the ornament in a color and then maybe gold or silver heat emboss the topper, you could do that. You've got this little holly sprig and then joy to the world. This would be a perfect stamp set. All you would need to do um, cards this year. You could do um, some gift cards just with this stamp set. I think would be really, really pretty. Christmas row houses. Again, they, they really have some intricate stamp sets with this release. So you've got this row set of row houses, and then you've got different roof textures that will fit in there, different roof details that you can add on there. There's the little topiary trees that are all kind of different. So you could kind of layer them in the front a chimney that you can add to certain ones. You've got wreaths and shutters, all kinds of just fun, a little fire hydrant, all kinds of fun details to add onto your row houses. And then you've got a moon and Christmas. Again, another great set to do for greeting cards. There's another little chimney piece there. So here's an example of how they pieced all those together. You can see the little fire hydrant, the topiaries. Okay, so the bricks... This piece here fits along the bottom so you can add brick detail to the front of the houses. There's your roof detail. So some of them have shingles, some of them don't. You can see, oh, there's the little, this piece here is actually like smoke coming from the chimney. And then you've got stars and the moon. So you can piece it all together. Again, another great set to do cards out of or non-Christmas. So just by not using the wreath, you can use these at any time of the year. Just change up the colors that you're using. So this isn't a just Christmas specific stamp set, which is really nice. Okay. So the little wavy piece makes it look like there's snow built up on the top of the house. That is so adorable. I love that. I love how much detail they're adding to these stamp sets this month. Winter piece, another favorite. I can't decide. I love all of these um, with all of these little sleeping foxes. Look at the little mama fox and baby fox. You've got this tree, some little snowflakes in there. So cute. And then the word piece. So another great one that you could do cards out of. It's not just cards. You can use them in Bible journaling, but I love stamp sets that I can get a lot of use out of, not just in my Bible journaling um, projects. So there's winter piece. And then you have Noel, which if you are loving the little animals as much as I do, this is totally for you. You've got your little hedgehog, that bear. So some images that we saw in the kit there. You have Noel, Oh Holy Night. There's some little music notes, <laughs> little squirrel, little hat that you can put on your animals. And so there is a look at that stamp kind of colored in. This little spriggy piece would be super cute as a border underneath a title. You could even use your um, tile stickers and then add this as an embellishment, or it gives you a spot to kind of sit your animals on so that they're not just free floating on a card or something like that. And you could probably stamp it several times and extend it if you needed it to, um, and then set your little animals on there would be really cute. I love that. So, so adorable. So there's a look at the entire new release from By the Well for God. Again, they are over on their new website. They do still have a few items in the Etsy shop. So if you're placing an order in both places, um, they will combine the shipping for you. Um, so don't worry about that. They will refund you any shipping overages that happen if you're ordering from both the website and the Etsy shop as they're moving things over. So I will have everything linked down below for you, including the 25 Gifts of Love devotional kit. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below for me. Head on over to my blog post where I will have all the color swatches for for gelatos, inks, paints, you name it, that will be over on my blog post, as well as close-up photos of the entire release. So you can see that in more detail. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.